Hey guys, it's Stay Keep It Suit here again. And today we're gonna be talking about Radar Online. And I'm gonna be showcasing like what it can possibly be seen in the future of this game, you know? So basically Blade Online, hence its name, you can probably guess what game or anime it is, a sort of online game. So Blade Online is a really cool game. It has a lot of cool aspects that thrive to make the game the best it can be. It's like honestly just it's gonna be the best sort of game we've ever seen on Roblox to be honest. We've had a really skilled group of devs to bring the best experience on game release. So, Blade Out Online has a lot of things. It has dungeons, duels, bounties, guilds. There's all types of things you can just get from this game. It's honestly easily top five. And honestly, I seem to very. I like it a lot. Based on the visuals, it's fucking beautiful. It's like a great game. Honestly, I think this could be the next, like, you know, big three on Roblox anime game wise. Because let's be honest, there isn't much happening in the Roblox anime game scene right now and we kind of need someone to step up based on the customization screen there's quite a few things you can actually do check your face basically all your face this thing this game actually has a lot of customization now that i look at it i didn't know it had this much customization i have looked at the sneaks but there's a lot of customization this game has to it and honestly it looks pretty damn good so this seems to be the start screen for blitter online and it looks pretty damn clean. I've never watched SAO myself, but if this is what the startup screen looks like, it looks kind of heat, and they might have just gone down to a T. So, like SAO, crafting levels will exist, enchantments from studying in the libraries on different floors or exploring runes to overall benefit your progression. Besides a basic leveling system and rare drops or abilities to be learned, such as dual wielding or spells, you can choose to limit yourself or choose to explore. We hope. While the rest of these sneaks play, I'm gonna give you guys the basic rundown of the game. Excuse me. This game focuses really on exploration overall and immersive progression for the best experience. And since, for example, raiding difficult dungeons with friends or even grinding solo dungeons on your own, showing more difficulty, giving a higher feeling of difficult progression, seasonal bosses, and a shit ton of floors. If you choose to beat up mobs, then it will be a bandit beater. But if you choose to raid dungeons, craft armors, and obtain new achievements to further enhance your progression, you actually have some pretty damn good fun, I can 